In this video, we're going to look at connecting Show Control and Resolume again, this time just triggering a simple cue list based on a song track to be played back from Show Control. So for this, I've set up a couple of cues here. This could be anything, but for this one, I've just made an intro, something for the first beats, some little pops, a drop, and then a beat drop. I'm going to trigger through these using OSC. So I've done videos before on OSC and Show Control. But just make sure you've got your IP address and your port numbers set up properly. And then we can jump over into Show Control. And in Show Control, same thing. Under Network, make sure we've got our OSC output enabled. And I'm setting to that target IP and to that target port of Resolume. So now that I've got those set up, under Set List, I've loaded up the track here. And I'll bring that up by clicking that button there, so that little play button, into the QList editor. So I've got them talking. Now I need to decide where I want each of these things to happen. So I'm going to just dump cues straight in here. So if I play this, I can hear the audio playing. First thing I want at the very start is I normally try to put a zero cue. So just a zero, I'll call this zero. I just want to have one cue in there to know where we've started. I won't do any commands on this. Um, then at the very start, we want to load that first Resolume clip. So I'll add a queue, clicking new queue, I'll call this intro, and the event will be clip1. And I'll make this at one second, just to, so we've started a bit late. And then back in Resolume, I just need to get the OSC address. So this clip here. So shortcuts, edit OSC, I want to trigger this clip. And I want this first one, I want the direct layer clip selection, not the active, not the selected layer. So this one here. So back in show control, there's actually a handy little tool here to create OSC commands. We can paste it straight into this command dialog and we'll do that afterwards. But first, just to get the correct syntax, I'll click here, I want to send an OSC out. And this is where the address goes. So make sure you get this exactly right. If it's not right, it won't work. And we want to send a float value of one. So now looking at both screens, if I turn off shortcuts again, now I can send a test signal to make sure that's working. So that play button will send a test signal. I can see that clip triggered the first clip and that's exactly what I wanted. So back in show control, what we want to do is I want to drop another cue for when that first beat starts to start the second part. So that happens about here. I'll start it just hit play a bit forwards and I can click this new cue button as soon as it gets there to drop that marker in there. So bring it back a bit, I'll hit play, and I'll wait till it gets there. And that's about it there. So you click once, I'll call this one, this is called, I'll call this first beats, it's the name of the clip. And I'll call this, it'll be triggering clip two. And now I can copy this whole section here and paste it straight into this one. But I actually want to change it so it's now layer one, clip two. And looking at both screens again, I can see when I click on this whole, these two, they actually send the test signal as well. So clicking on those will actually send that trigger directly. So now I've got that one. It's just a case of putting the next few cues in. So the next one happens. about 38, I believe that was, I might move it back a little bit, so just 38, zero. And the next one happens almost straight after, so I'll play it again and try and get that one in. There we go, so this one was like a like a blackout drop, I've pre-drop is what I called it. And then my next cue for the next clip was the beat drop. Same thing, I'll just name those with their clip, clip three, and clip four. And again, I can just paste this whole command in again. It's 
now not clip number three. I can paste this whole command in here also. And that will be clip number four. And now when I run that, that will run all those clips in time, triggering them in Resolume. There's a couple of things I want to do. So I want to make sure I load this deck. So this is my second deck, looking back at Resolume. My second deck here, so I go to the first deck and I clear those clips out. I want this deck to load, so I'll call this the name of the same of the song, Fame, I believe it was, for my song list. And I need to get the OSC command to load this deck. That's this one down here. And I'll put that in in Show Control. So in my set list, I've got that track here. And every time I load that into the master queue, or if the DJ loads that into their master playback thing, I'll rip it in here. Execute command layer M. So I want this to happen when this clip's loaded into that deck. So OSC out. The pattern is composition decks two. This is number ordered, so if you do rearrange your decks, it will throw things off. So you need to kind of keep things in the same order. You can jump backwards and forwards, but you can't change the order in Resolume once you've set the numbers here. If I look at both screens, I'll take this into the blank deck, and then I'll send this test signal here, and we've loaded deck two. So I'll go back to the blank deck. I'll save that. So it's now save that. And now if I make this internal, so if I load that song in here, so from documents, now is it there? So I've loaded that file into one of my decks down the bottom here. If I'll set this queue list to a different queue list. And so what should happen is once that deck, that track plays, it will start playing, it will load that set list for me this queue list, sorry, under the set lists. Once I've loaded into deck, into the master deck, and it should change the page for me, the deck in Resolume. So we'll load both at the moment, and if I start playing, and then load that into the master, see it's loaded that deck straight away in Resolume. And I'll see those clips are at the right times. So there you go, as you can see we've loaded, we've gone through each of those clips quite quickly. But that was pretty much in time to where I thought that should be in the song. And then we could reuse these, so we could actually have these same cues or these same clips triggered multiple times throughout the song. So I could reuse those same clips in Resolute, but drop in extra cue lists through new key, cue here. Um, Show Control does have an option to import, so from your import file here, import Reaper file. So you'd have your queue set up into a Reaper file from like audio markers and import them directly and they'll show up in here with all your namings and stuff. And then you just need to assign a command or an OSC for Resolume in here. Um, and just to recap, from the set list, under the song, we also set an OSC command here just to make sure that deck switches over to the correct deck um, in Resolume. So we're playing in the right song deck. When we do reset, I'd like to have a zero queue. Just recap, I have a zero queue here. I try to keep one queue at the very start, just so if things are all reset, and we're not starting in a random queue. So I know the first queue is going to trigger on its own. And that's creating a simple queue list in show control and playing it back. So let's run that one more time before we go. So I'll make sure everything's reset. So I've got the song stopped in here. It's not going to any layers. I'll load an old show set list just to make sure nothing's playing. 
If we look at Resolume, I'll clear out all the clips, so I'll make sure nothing's playing in here. I'll start a blank show in my blank deck. I'll bring both up. Back in the live show, nothing's playing here. So I'll start playing first, we should res see Resolume switch decks once I send this to the master and those cues start firing. So I'll start playing. Sent to the master with switch decks, we've still triggered that first clip. When we look at the cue list, we're running through. 